because I'm risking my life on this bridge on a windy day. I'm 13 years old. But this is a check post for the animals. Oh, check post for animals. <laughs> yes. Ah. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode here, currently in the mountains of Nepal. So guys, if you've been following my journey so far, you would have known that I've come all the way from Kathmandu and flew from Kathmandu to Lukla. And so far we've trekked from Lukla to Pakding, which was around three to four hours. And in today's adventure, guys, we'll be going from Pakding all the way to Namshi Bazaar. And that takes roughly around, I'd say six to seven hours. Um, but if we have more stopovers, probably around eight hours, but it should be fairly straightforward route. Um, but there's a part, the last part of it should have quite a steep uphill uh, take. So uh, it should be a really, really interesting journey. I'll take you guys with me on the journey as well. We'll be crossing some of those beautiful bridges along the way. So I'll be able to show you guys some of those awesome sites. But at the moment, guys, we are just in the resort. If you are new here, consider subscribing because it really does help my channel and you'll also be able to see more of Nepal vlogs as well as vlogs all around the world. breakfast hello oh, right so here's our breakfast guys we've got some Nepali styled bread we've got some omelette we've got the coffee this one and... honey oh, oh amazing perfect. thank you so we've got something sweet as well all right guys we're just gonna dive in have some food and we're gonna get going here again you would have seen him in my vlog yesterday and we've got our bro here our porter the soldier <laughs> he's the soldier he carries all the bags we've got a six to seven hour journey now that lies ahead of us all the way to Namshi Bazaar. Uh, we'll take you on that journey with us and let's do this guys. As you're doing this hike you will be walking through loads of villages and towns and you see loads of little guys like this. Hello, namaste. So you'll be walking through loads of lakes like this guys. If you ever complain about anything in life, look at these little guys carrying this. Hello, Hello. namaste. How are you? I'm fine. Good. What's your name? My name is Suzatama. Nice to meet you. You are very strong. Yes. Very strong boy. How old are you? I am 13 years old. 13 years old. You going to school? No. House. House. Good boy. You're a very good boy. Wow. Just puts things into perspective guys. That you don't really see those type of things. Um, in the west shall i say western countries so very eye-opening when you come to these beautiful places like this you know and you see those type of things really really incredible yeah i'll use him as motivation to get me through this trip It looks like we've got a Shangri-La resort hotel here but what I've noticed in like places like Nepal, Pakistan they use like famous names around hotels around the world and they name their resorts or hotels the same this place here actually looks like it should be some type of Shangri-La because it is really beautiful wow look at that right in the heart of the mountains so just a couple of tips whilst you are on the hike you might want to carry some sunscreen because my skin is actually um, got like olive skin and usually I don't burn but because we're quite high up in the altitude my arms and my neck have literally burnt along the way so even though it's a little bit chilly but because you're so high up you're closer to the sun so you're more um, likely to burn from the sun so and guys whilst watching this video if you have any questions about this hike that I might not cover within this vlog just comment in the uh, comment section below whatever questions they may be and I'll be sure to answer them as well so there's a few checkpoints on route uh, on the way from Pakden to Namshi Bazaar there'll be one after trekking for about half an hour or so just be sure to stop because they check your documents to make sure that you're all okay to get through to the next uh, location because the area that you have a trekking through is actually a national park well, what's 
stunning views guys well this hike is all about the beautiful views that you see countless waterfalls countless landscapes just stunning guys so so beautiful how are you feeling on day two much better yeah i think i'm getting used to the altitudes and the lengthy walks and everything views just get more and more beautiful we've seen our first uh, mountain here which is of elevation of just under 7,000 feet and it looks absolutely stunning they only name their mountain peaks if it's above 6,000 meters anything below that they don't name it what's been your most favorite thing with me about the hike so far what have you enjoyed the most I think it's the experience overall it's yeah. an extremely authentic experience because you get to enjoy all the nature and blend in with the local people in the villages and it's just you know i can't really put it in words how amazing it really is you have to come here to experience it because the videos might do it some justice but it's totally different when you're here yourself if you're on the fence about doing it and you're like look you're not really much of a hiker to be honest neither am i i've probably done like three hikes in my life so it's not that difficult you just enjoy the experience more than anything just make sure you've got the right gear Get some good hiking boots, some trousers, uh, climber cool tops. Not, don't bring cotton tops or anything like that because they'll sweat so quickly. That was a mistake I've made. Uh, and then you'll be totally fine. So guys, you'll be crossing four of these suspension bridges as you go to Namchi Bazaar. They're a little bit bouncy if you're afraid of heights and um, they shouldn't be too much of an issue because I am usually scared of heights <laughs> and I've been okay to be honest. They just feel really really strong like they're made out of like steel and uh, I don't think anything's gonna happen to them. I hope so anyway <laughs> but the views that you get are just really really beautiful. Great places just to stop get some pictures and just really take in the views that you get. Guys, you can also stop off to get some refreshments, like here across the uh, hike. So we've got like a lady here from her house. She's just selling some lovely bananas, oranges, apples, some fizzy drinks, and some water. So for the fruit, you're looking at about 100 rupees per fruit. Water is as well, same price as I said earlier, 100 rupees. So you're looking between 100 to 200 for anything along these kind of little markets here. He's so cute. All right, guys, we've just uh, arrived at another checkpoint. This one is the Sargamata National Park checkpoint. So once you get to the Sargamata National Park entrance, it actually gives you some signs of how long you've got to get to Namchi exactly. So from this point exactly, it's a four-hour walk, which you can just see there. And it's about six kilometers. And if you're going to the, on the way back to Padding, is five kilometers and three hours and Lukla is six hours and 13 kilometer walk all right off we go guys how are you still standing <laughs> <laughs> <We're not. laughs> when you're going down you get some new energy yeah. and the oxygen is also very nice how are you? all right guys we're officially walking through the gate now hello guys bye, bye. Hey, bye. and this is the notanki that we do <laughs> look at this We're about to cross this bridge here, which is literally in the, hanging in the middle of this river. It looks so, so epic. Here we go, guys. Jumping on the old suspension bridge. You can hear the creeks. Very, very bouncy. But the views that you get when you are walking through here are just endless 360 views of these insane landscapes. Yeah, super bouncy there, guys. If there are other people on it as well. It will be swaying, so you might want to hold on to something. Wow, look at this, guys. Literally hanging in the midair. Wow, this is crazy. I don't know how I'm not scared. It must be the altitude thing. But usually I'll be so scared of these heights. Whoa, don't look down. That's the trick. Don't look down. Just look to the side. How the hell do they make these things, man? I always wonder how they're made. Like, it's insane. Apparently there's another bridge coming up, which is 500 meters high. So probably like double what that was just there. 
exhilarating, adventurous. If this is what you love, then you're just gonna love it, guys. But if you're scared of heights, then uh, just don't look down. Look at these guys. Hairy these ones. We just arrived yeah. to our lunch place, three hours walk. And yesterday, after an hour and a half, we weren't able to do it. But three hours today, it just shows off how quickly your fitness does build up. All right, looks like a nice chilled out spot. We've got everyone here to relax in. Let's see what's inside. Get some air. Ah, uh, look at this, guys. Very, very nice. It took us about two hours and a half to get to this rest spot. It was actually supposed to take three hours, so we've done it in quite good time. And on the Apple Watch so far, it says up until this point is seven kilometers, but we've probably got about another five and a half kilometers from this checkpoint here to get to Namchi Bazaar. But look at this, guys, how beautiful this is. You just sit down, have your lunch, and you've got the beautiful river just flowing behind you. I've not, I've not stopped hearing the sound of the river since we got here. It just flows through your whole journey. How are you feeling today? Feeling great. I'm really proud of myself. We've done, um, I think, just under three hours non-stop trek. We're not professional trekkers, guys, but you don't have to be to do this. You just have to enjoy a bit of adventure. So guys, if you are still watching up until this point, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already, because it really helps these videos more than you really think. Um, so really appreciate if you do that, guys. And also share it with any friends that you think might find some value in the video too. But we've got some egg fried rice here. We've got some noodle veggies over there. So get the energy levels back up with some warm tea with sugar. And uh, let's get this down, guys. It tastes really good, I've had it before. You might want to get your stretches in guys because these guys are doing it like professionals. I <laughs> don't know if you want to go that far though. That's our lunch break over. We've got about 3 hours and 20 minutes to get to Namchi Bazaar. It should be a fairly straightforward uh, hike so far. This is a check post for the animals. Oh, checkpoints for animals. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. There's many animals in Twin Ocean. Checkpoints in here. Yeah. Nice. Know, the animals is not allowed. Ah, okay. Right. So they got checkpoints for animals out here. How crazy is that? Guys, so the trail so far has been really, really relaxing after that lunch break. It's just been really, really nice. Straight roads like this. Uh, we've just had literally one incline hill to climb since then namaste how are you hi guys we've got the nepalese soldiers here as well How are you doing guys? Good? Very good. We're just reaching the 500 meter high bridge. It looks absolutely monstrous from here, right in between the mountains. Oh la la. <laughs> are you ready for it? I'm breaking it a little. It looks so sketchy. <laughs> yeah, incredibly high. But we can do this guys. We can do this. Guys, we finally made it up to the highest bridge in town. That was definitely the toughest part of the hike so far. And here we are. It's called the Larcha Dovan. The elevation is 2,933 meters. This, this is it. This is the highest bridge with an elevation of 500 meters down. Literally, it's quite scary. Time to do this, guys. <laughs> wow. Literally walking across the highest bridge. Very, very high, this one. Whoa. <laughs> this, I didn't think I'd be scared on this one, but this is quite high. The main thing that you must do it literally just looks straight. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. I think, whoa, it's getting quite windy, Brad. It's getting windy out here and the bridge is swaying. Oh my God. Oh, this is a mad one. Why? Whoa, Matt's doing this. The bridge is swaying. The main thing, mind over matter. Oh my days. Whoa, I'm like Spider-Man here, guys. The main thing, stay low, then you feel good. 
yeah that's the trick stay low guys if you're watching this you have to like and subscribe guys because i'm risking my life on this bridge on a windy day oh my god look how windy it is all right feel a little bit better just don't look down look straight and we got this we got this oh my god Woo. giving you guys first hand experience of how scary this place is i was all right on all the other bridges but this one's a mad one <sighs> ah, thank you thank you oh. don't look down guys that's the trick we made it <sighs> oh we done it we done it how you doing guys oh. guys we made the top highest bridge in town completed guys if you've come this far make sure you like and subscribe guys oh wow look how high it is guys incredible top of the world here guys 3000 meters above sea level it's getting windy cloudy and a bit rainy oh. Guys, we are about 45 minutes to Namshi Bazaar and this has been the toughest part of the whole hike. It's literally two hours continuous incline. So just be prepared for it guys. It gets cold, it gets windy, it gets tough. Play some music to get you motivated. I've got some gladiator music playing in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's getting me going. It's giving me the strength. This part is really gonna test your mental strength as well as your physical strength. So yeah, this is the part where you guys Really got to give it the last push. We can do it guys, yes? Just about. Just about. <laughs> Get some music pumping. Have a uh, banana just before the climb and you'll be able to do it guys. Let's go. guys we're literally near the top and god honestly guys mindset is absolutely everything <sighs> body was totally given up put on some motivational music to get me to the top and now i'm leading the pack it's just crazy it's all in the mind guys if you can control your mind you can absolutely do anything achieve anything and yeah the mind is so powerful guys so so powerful i was at a point where i was like ready to give up but just kept going push through it use the mindset to get me through power of the mind guys literally can do anything let's go we are literally 10 minutes away from Namchi Bazaar we can just see it now just over there you see those blue buildings that's how we have officially made it to Namchi Bazaar look at this place absolutely beautiful colorful ah it's all worth it Officially walking through the gates of Namshi Bazaar. Oh, wow, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful paintings inside here. And let's walk in. Wow. Look at this place. A city, or should I say a town, built in the mountains of the Himalayas. 3,500 meters up in the clouds above sea level. Wow, how did they even build this place? You know, it's just amazing. Rajimina. Yeah. That's a new dance. That's a new dance. Ah. You're showing us something? Light. That's oh, a dog. No! Good? Have you even got a no face here, guys? You want to buy some more gear when you arrive? Oh, even a massage. Nice, hello. Massage? Wow, okay. Open until what time? 
Seven, yeah? Okay. Do we need to book? Yeah. Okay, after I come. Okay. How much is it? 4,000. Okay, all right. Okay. You guys need anything? Is the pharmacy? Yeah, they look like they've literally got everything here, guys. I'm so glad we've got here at just before two. Yeah, just before two o'clock. Uh, took so far five hours to get here and it was supposed to take seven hours. I'm so impressed. And 1,389 calories burnt. Current heart rate, 132 BPM. And throughout the whole journey, for those that really care about the fitness, it was between, I'd say 128 to about 160, one going incline. The highest I was on was probably like 178 when it was just like continuous. And the whole, we gained about 1,000 meters high. That's what it says, 1,000 meters elevation gain. And it was about 12 and a half kilometers the whole journey. Wow, can't believe I've done that. But right, guys, what I'll do, um, as I'm saying this stuff, I'll put over uh, my Apple Watch stats, just so you guys can see if you can beat it. If you beat it, comment in the uh, section below and say that I beat you. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's carry on walking through the streets, but it's quite nice, super modern around here. They've literally got absolutely everything. Bye. Thank you. We've got barbershop and masseuse. We're just passing by the Namchi Bazaar school here, and it's actually a Sunday, and I was asking uh, Rinchi, why are kids going to school on a Sunday? And he said, on the, in Nepal, they only have one day off and the Saturday. So kids go to school six days a week here. And what an amazing school right in the mountains. <music> Made it to our hotel, Hotel Namchi. Namaste, how are you? Alright guys, I'll just show you our little lodge. Nice and cozy. There we go. Put two single beds, one here, one there. And I believe we have a balcony. Let's have a look, this is our nice window. Let's check out our balcony. Oh yeah. Look at that man. Beautiful. You don't get balconies like that everywhere around the world. Up in the clouds. Wow, so nice. It's freezing though. I'm gonna go and have a rest, guys. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of the city. Nice. Alright, guys, we'll just show you around a little bit of Namchi Bazaar area. Got poo on the floor. Oh, look at this little garden. A little coffee bakery here. Also got massage places as well, guys. Got art galleries. Most of it is paintings of Mount Everest. People's journeys here. Did you draw these? Yeah, my painting. Your painting, yeah. Wow. Very talented. Guys, just some bit of advice actually. If you are going to be doing this hike, these jackets here are perfect because they're thin. Hi, how are you? Good. good. Very good. Shopping. So yeah guys, these North Face jackets that they've got all around uh, Nepal, um, they're actually perfect because they're quite light weighted as well and they've got a hoodie and they're waterproof. Like I've got this jacket here, which is quite big actually. They've got your leg thermals, yeah. Let me know if you've got any more questions about the clothing out here guys. Um, but I'll probably make a note in the description below of all the stuff that I brought and also what I think that you guys should bring as well. As you can see from the video, there's absolutely everything available that you may need here at Namshi Bazaar. It's so incredible how they've been able to transport so much of these items at such high altitudes. And honestly guys, this is probably one of the most incredible places I have ever visited in my entire life. The people in the area are so wholesome and friendly. There are plenty of nice restaurants to eat in, as well as bars, coffee shops. And if you're looking to get some fresh pizzas, they've also got that in the town too. Even massage shops and even barber shops. 
So if you feel like you don't need to carry a lot of things on your trek, then I'd recommend doing a shop here at Namshi Bazaar as you'll be able to pick up many clothes and other items related to trekking to help you carry on your journey from here on. So when you come in, they've got this cozy, cozy area where you can have some uh, dinner. You've got everybody coming in, it's freezing inside the rooms, but inside this little bit here, it is fairly, fairly warm. And you've got beautiful views of the mountains as well as we're literally up in the clouds. If you look down there, you've got the clouds covering the mountain tops. And uh, probably in about an hour or so, we will be eating. But in the meantime, we are just going to warm up because we've been freezing inside the hotel room. Um, but we've ordered some chicken, grilled chips, well, no mashed potatoes. And uh, we've been freezing for a while, haven't we? How are you feeling now? Better? Frozen. Frozen. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be this cold actually, guys, but. Uh, expect the unexpected when you get here because you're up in the mountains and you're about 3500 meters above sea level so it does get super cold. After a really really long day it was time to have the famous Nepalese Dao Bart at our hotel where actually a lot of famous people have arrived here previously and also dined. If you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because it really does help these videos and i'll see you guys on the next nepal video peace out